and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessie if you are new here. Um, and if you're new here, I'm so sorry this is your first video. I look a hot mess, girl. But if you guys aren't new here and you've noticed, I did um, get my hair done. I dyed it red and I got it cut a little bit because it was way too long, even though I could have gone shorter, but the guy left it this length because you know, um, language barrier. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to talk with you guys a little bit because I haven't really gotten any of my boxes. Everything has been going so slow because of COVID and just everything that's going on in the States, I feel like. And I read something was going on with the USPS people. Um, I don't really know a whole lot about it because I didn't really read the article. Um, but yeah, so I haven't really had anything to unbox for you guys and it's kind of a bummer. I've literally just been home with Jaden. Our other car like died. I think my husband fixed it now. So like we haven't really gone anywhere. Um, yeah, like I wanted to put Jaden in preschool, couldn't because COVID. They're even thinking about shutting our region down again. Um, I guess my husband said yesterday, I think we're already in September. Yeah, I'm filming this and it's September. My husband said that at his job yesterday, one of his higher ups was like, hey, um, we might go back down to like 75% of our people in our shop or whatever. Like they're going down to, uh, I don't know how to word it because of COVID or whatever. Like people are afraid that the numbers are gonna go back up. Um, and I guess they have been steadily and they're trying to open schools, which I think schools open this week. I don't really know, like in Italy. So the school on base already opened, um, but the schools in Italy, they're trying to open them and they're trying to minimize the number of cases and whatever, contamination. So yeah, so we haven't sent Jaden to preschool. I've been trying to teach him. I got these posters and things and I got flashcards and Y'all, I don't know how parents are doing it. If you're doing virtual school or if you're doing in school or if you're doing half and half, like it is hard. And I, and he's technically only like preschool. I don't know how people do it with elementary, middle, high school, like all different levels. Like, I, I don't know how y'all do it. I just, I can't, it's so hard, but like I'm forcing myself to do it and I'm forcing myself to remember that like, I need to be patient because this is new to me and this is new to him. And if he gets frustrated, he'll shut down and that's not what I want. I want him to be excited to learn and he is, but sometimes I find myself getting really frustrated and I have to like just stop and just take a breather and then like talk to him and I'm like, it's okay, it's new to me too. If you wanna cry, you can cry. Like you're not gonna get in trouble. Like we just have to try, we have to try together. So that's been interesting. Um, yeah, so, and we've, me and my husband have really just been trying to get out and like try new restaurants and go to places we haven't been before um, because we don't know if they're going to shut down like as strict as they did back in like March or if they're just going to shut down our region. Like they haven't really decided just yet, I don't think. So yeah, I don't know. So we're just sitting here living life to the fullest um, and I'm just waiting on all of like 20 of my packages to come in. And yeah, like it's been rough. It's been rough out here in these streets. And it's, I feel like it's even rougher knowing that like, I don't know, like it's just really hard. And it gets to you. Am I the only one? Am I the only one? I'm just so over this at this point. I just, I really wish things could go back to normal. And then with all of these things going on in the States with sex trafficking it's such a scary world we live in right now like like these things existed before but it's like now that it's coming to light and you can see the reality of the situation it is horrible and it's like how am I supposed to be a mom and be able to let my kids like go on their own and 
explore and do things when I'm like worried and anxious 24 seven because I'm like, oh my God, what if a car goes by and snatches him up and he's in the driveway? Like, so I feel like my anxiety level for that is definitely high um, because now I'm like, okay, we're gonna be going back to the States maybe and like I want him to make friends and I want him to play outside and I want him to do all of these things but at the same time I'm like oh my god like I don't want you to leave my side so it is so scary like I feel like I just sit in this apartment and think about that all the time and I'm just like can we not go back like can we just stay here and then I'm like oh I don't want to be here anymore so there's that but yeah that's my ramble that's my update um, do you guys want to see my fall decor? I can show you guys my fall decor that I got. So it's really dark and that's not a good angle. My camera's crooked. Let me fix it. There we go. So this is something I ordered from Kirkland's. It's definitely a lot smaller than I thought it would be, but I think it's super cute. Um, I ordered mugs for my coffee bar for here. Yeah, for here to change those out. Um, no, 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 no. let's see. I ordered this mat off of Amazon for $15.99. Now it's $25, but I ordered it before like the actual season started. And then this I actually got from Kirkland's um, instead of a frame that I ordered and I emailed their customer service and they still haven't emailed me back. So I was like, I guess I'm just keeping this and I'm not getting the thing I actually ordered. So there's that. <laughs> Oh, that thing's not there anymore. Let me show you the little stuff I have in my kitchen, which isn't a whole lot. So I got these from, um, don't mind my dirty stove, it's like stained. So I got these from TJ Maxx when we used to live in Washington. And then I got this little pumpkin sign right here. Super cute, I don't know if y'all can see that. There we go thankful and blessed. I love this sign. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Um, I got this from Amazon. I love it. The next little things I have here, <clears throat> I feel like I'm losing my voice. So I got these like pillow covers um, from Amazon last year. I just thought those were super cute. And I got three pillows. There's my baby, his face is dirty. You say hi? No? Okay, well. And then I got these little pumpkins here um, from Kirkland's. I came in the set of two and I got another set here. Y'all can see that. And then I think the last thing that I have that's like folly is like my table. So I just have like orange place mats and then I have these little pumpkins I got from um, Michael's before we moved from Washington and I have one orange and then this one's like a rust color and I think that's about it oh I have this super cute pumpkin sign hold on let me show you guys let me prop you up everything's like crooked this this video is gonna be all over the place and my hair won't just stop. Okay, but this sign is super cute. I don't really know where to put it. How stinking cute is this? I love it. I got this from Kirkland's. It was $24.99, but I got it 20% um, off. Yeah. And I just think it's so adorable. I just don't know where to put it. But yeah, I think that's actually it. Oh, and then I just took this candle out. My snickerdoodle, sugar, sugared snickerdoodle. I'm not really into like the food type of candles, but I was like, eh, I got it to try it. And I was like, yeah, I smelled it. And I was like, Neh. but yeah, but yeah. And that's probably about it. I've just been baking and waiting for packages to come in and none of them have come in. Oh yeah, and then I got my nails painted orange for fall. Um, but yeah, I think that's about it. Oh, and I have been reading a book called, um, hold on, let me actually get it because I don't, I don't remember the actual name, but yeah. 
this video is a mess. Just, just wanted to update you guys on like what I've been doing. Um, the Mastery of Love. This was actually recommended by a YouTuber I watch and I can't remember her name right now. Um, but it's actually a really good book about like self-love and being in a relationship and like re your relationships in general and just like, I don't know. Like I just started it, um, but I think it's a really, <laughs> my hair is crazy, but I think it's a really good book so far. So if you're looking for a good read, I would definitely check that out. Um, Cause I like it so far, but yeah, that is it. That's my update, no boxes. Going crazy with trying to teach Jade and everything decorating for fall and just baking that is my life that is my life yes so i hope you guys enjoyed a little bit of this video i don't really know leave it a thumbs up if you did um i really want to get into vlogging but at the same time i'm like all i do is stay home and do the same thing every day so i don't really know if you guys would be interested in that stay at home mom in Italy um but yeah that's it thank you if you got this far in the video thank you so much for watching um don't forget to like and subscribe if you liked this video and I promise as soon as something comes in I will make an unboxing um but as for right now I can't do anything about it so so sorry and I will talk to you guys later Bye bye